This video is highly inspired and highly sponsored by the Holy Spirit. So now let's go into like the actual strategies that I used when I was studying. The first thing I would do is that I would preview before I go to class. Always read the um, the material before you go to class. And I know it's like very cliche. It's like, oh yeah, we all know we're supposed to do that. But honestly, it helps to like prime your brain. I don't want to go into like, you know, the details of neuroscience, but it's like, the neurons just like you know start to like put things together and honestly when you look at the material this is okay so now this is your first time you have a first i call it the first pass you've seen the material you have some idea of what the teacher is going to be teaching if you are like a ghana you you already have your questions prepared i'm not at that level <laughs> I just like preview. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. We know that's what uh, this is I'm talking about. But if you sometimes, if you like really read into depth, you have some questions ready for the professor. Number two, go to class and pay attention. Okay. So when you go to class, it's not the time to be on your phone. There's not the time to be on Instagram. I'm preaching to myself. <laughs> This is not a time to be on Amazon. Even if the professor is extremely boring, please mute all your devices, um, get a blocker. This is not a time to be shopping on Amazon for the best deals and pay attention and listen to the professor. Now that a lot of classes are on Zoom, for me, what I tend to do is I turn on my camera because it helps me pay attention better because when you have your camera off on Zoom, it's like so easy to like open YouTube on the side, open Netflix on the side and you know, be doing your own thing and not really participating and getting the most out of the class. So please pay attention. Now, by the time you're done with class, you've seen this material twice. And now the, your brain is forming all of these connections. And at this point, even though you might not believe it, you know 50% of the material or you know what you need to go study. At least you're like, oh, this was this sounded pretty easy. I think I got it. I need to spend time on this more. So you get, are you getting the strategy now? Okay, so now we're gonna go to pass three and this is where you actually go into like, you know, your nice study space, you know, you have your study buddy, everything you've planned where you're going to be studying. You've done all of that. All of this boils down to this point. They're dedicated study time. So what I do during my dedicated study time is that I use the Pomodoro technique. So this is a technique where you time yourself and then you take a five minutes break. The original technique is that you time yourself for 25 minutes and you take a five minutes break. But here's where we're gonna tweak it a little bit. You actually wanna set the timer not to 25 minutes, but to your attention span. So some people have an attention span of 10 minutes and after that their brain starts to wander. Other people have an attention span of like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, find out your attention span and this might take a little like try and error where you time yourself and you're like oh I think I can go a little bit more or like oh I timed myself and I'm like actually tired I'm getting tired for me my attention span is 40 minutes roughly after 40 minutes I'm thinking about food I'm thinking about who to text who to call back I'm thinking about oh that post on Instagram that I need to comment reply an email my brain just wanders away so my timer is set to 40 minutes and after every 40 minutes i would take a five minutes break i do this four times and then give myself a 30 minutes break to have lunch 30 to 40 minutes to have lunch you know talk to a friend this is where you go talk to that buddy you came to the library with barry like sitting in the corner away from me <laughs> and it's even nice if you or your buddy have like the same attention span so you can like take breaks around the same time it's really nice it makes studying enjoyable so after my 30 to 40 minutes big lunch break i would go back and do another round of four cycles of 40 minutes and after that i'm pretty much done for the day when you're studying make it fun make it enjoyable i know i'm a nerd but honestly studying can be fun if you're like even if it's not enjoyable make mnemonics write songs you know write out things do everything you can to make it stick especially if you're watching this video and you're considering doing a post back or a master's program you need to nail that post back like cold you need to get a 4.0 or a 3.7 and above to to convince medical students like to convince medical school admission committee like hey i know my undergrad was like a little bit funky you know we got some c's here but honestly i'm a great applicant i'm a great student and i know how to study now after you know you've really honed in and you've studied probably the next day or the next evening one thing you want to do is to recall the information you know and i think this can be a little daunting because it's like oh you know but i watched the video i wrote out my notes my cute notes and all of that but my question is ma'am can you answer a question 
can you recall the things you claimed you studied and there are so many ways to do this you can use flashcards to help you recall i use flashcards a lot now i'm like a big proponent of anki i just study and i go straight right there okay we notice we don't know this um so do flashcards if that worked for you another thing i do that i really really love to do is to take a blank piece of paper especially i do this a lot on my ipad just get a blank piece of paper and I'm like write down everything you know about this topic you claim you studied you said you studied you spent four to six hours studying this thing proof to me that you know it so that's one thing I really like to do and um, sometimes because it's it, it can be a lot like oh I but I know everything so I like to do that because it helps me form a tree so I can start with like okay what is glycolysis and then I can start to like break it down and then you know keep going keep going till I, I write everything that I feel like I know and it's very helpful because as I'm doing that I'm making all of these like cheat sheets and then once I'm done I can go back in and fill in the spots that I struggled with another thing that I highly highly recommend please dig into questions if you're an undergrad ask your professor hey what books are available that have like you know practice questions that i can do what would you recommend to help me you know test myself with the material please absolutely do um, questions. I know it can be daunting. It's like, oh, I'll do questions at the end when I feel like I've studied and all of that. But honestly, you go do, you study for like a week and you go do questions two days before the test and it's just like, mm. Mm. Holy <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> After this. After this. Please don't be that person. So do your best to recall and um, do all, all that I said, all, all that I just said, inc including asking testing yourself and after you do all of that trust me with the holy spirit on your side you are basically done so go and nail this exam in jesus name <laughs> well, i turned into a preacher i turned into a preacher <laughs> but anyway guys i hope you found this video enjoyable i hope you found it helpful if you did don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and definitely don't forget to share this video so we help all the pre-med students and generally anyone who's like i am sick of living on the curve i am sick of not getting a's i am sick of getting c minus and you know some b minuses here and it's time to get straight a's it is a new year. It is 2022 and we've left the past behind us and we are going to the new. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. So leave all your questions and comments in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you guys. Once again, my name is Grace Patrice. Bye.